Hi everyone and welcome back and we have already seen in the first video that we are going to talk about testing in JavaScript right so and we are going to use all these different frameworks different library different test runners and we are going to do the testing in react angular node.js Vue.js, or nest.js framework of node.js or a simple express application right so we have a lot of things to cover when it comes to uh, things about testing right so little bit about me and this is our overall agenda like what all things we are going to cover i mean i was not able to put a lot of things here but in real in this playlist we are going to cover everything so this is about testing in all different framework with the different libraries maybe for angular we can just choose a karma and jasmine or for node.js react angular Vue.js. I mean for all the framework we can just use Jest as a runner uh, because Jest is really a powerful tool which is help you to execute all the test cases get the coverage out of your integration test unit tests okay so section one we'll just start with the different type of testing tools libraries how to do the basic setup of unit testing by simply writing the basic TDDs and just using the Mocha, Chai or a Jasmine right and we'll talk about how you can create a stub skeleton as uh, you can create a spice using Sinon library or you, if you are using Jest, you can create a spice or you can create a mock of a function really easy. And then we how we can mock an API. Let's say you are accessing a third party API which is making an HTTP call. You can also using mock using knock library and there are many HTTP mock libraries are available which you can add while testing a functionality. So let's say you are, you are actually testing a, S3 upload or Azure file upload. This is like external service call, right? Either you write a separate unit tests for them, but when it comes to the integration test, you have to mock that functionality on the fly. You can't do that thing, right? So how to mock the third party interface that we'll also talk about. And E2E test cases, which we are calling as API testing that can be done with a super test or using request module simple, okay? Then we'll talk about the functional testing with the Cypress, whatever the projects we are building in Angular, React or Vue.js, anything can be tested with the Cypress. It's like uh, automation of your front-end application on a headless Chrome. Or you can also launch a Chrome browser and see all the visualization, how the tests are running. And then testing different, uh, testing using different runners, like Angular is using Jasmine and Karma. Now things are changing there, but for we can use Jest for React and we don't need to struggle much because Jest is now providing a library. I mean, Jest is a library which can be used for any kind of projects, TypeScript, Node, React, Angular. And I mean, I, I remember when I spent a couple of hours just to get the coverage set up using NYC in Istanbul. But now it's very easy. You can just pass the coverage flag and in Jest, if you already writing the react application npm run test npm run coverage you just need to pass the additional coverage flag and it it extract the coverage out from your the test cases you have written for react an easy mocking this real i really love this because the mocking in jest is really easy just dot function you can use assign a variable and mock it then you can just check okay this function has been called by calling a particular service method by rendering the component Okay, all these things are here. To be strict equals to be to be close to to have been called all those things you should be able to do. And then we'll also talk about Karma Jasmine for the Angular CLI, CLI application because it is launching the Karma, which is launching uh, either a browser for uh, executing these test cases, either a Chrome or a Firefox, and it is running all the test cases there. Okay. So there are a lot of things we are going to cover in this playlist. So without any del delay, let's get started with our first video. Uh, thanks everyone.